Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Inside Tyler Perry's Los Angeles home where Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are staying, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are currently residing at an $18 million mansion, owned by Tyler Perry, in the Beverly Ridge estate of Los Angeles. But although the property is only a temporary home for the family, it is undoubtedly fit for a royal. It was built in 2012 over 24,500 square feet, and while living in the property, Tyler shared several photos of the inside. Take a look. In 2016, Tyler shared a video of himself in one of the living rooms. It features high ceilings with a beige color scheme including two enormous leather sofas and a selection of co ordinating side lips. There are wooden floors with patterned rugs and large marble plinths and arches leading to different areas of the home. The video ends on a view of the corridor, built with an alcove ceiling. The living room also has a large black grand piano, where Stevie Wonder played at Tyler's birthday party in 2014. The regal aesthetic continues with large chandeliers, seen in both the living and dining room. The living room opens up onto the dining room through a marble archway. In the kitchen, Meghan and Harry now have a top-of-the-range wolf oven, a celeb favorite with fans including Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Lopez. Below a marble hood. On the wall, Tyler decorated with a sign reading, Only believe, because, as his caption says, surround yourself with things that remind you to never give up. There's a classic marble island in the middle of the room. On Wednesday, Meghan and Harry joined a video conference with the Crisis Text Line team to thank staff for their work, and the room they filmed in has also been used by Tyler for a video that he shared in 2017. It features oak wall panels and two large lampshades seen behind both Tyler and Meghan and Harry. Tyler shared a full view of the room, the study, in 2014 when he thanked family and friends for his birthday gifts. There is a matching oak desk with a glass top for working on and a maroon leather desk chair, as well as a traditional fireplace. The home boasts views across Franklin Canyon Park from an enormous outdoor terrace. Meghan and Harry have recently installed privacy screens since hiking trails reopened following the coronavirus pandemic. A shot taken by Tyler of the Port reveals that the property is ideal for watching the sunset too. The building itself is equally beautiful, made with exposed stone and cream window frames. Meghan and Harry's son Archie also has a beautiful nursery. Tyler shared a look inside at the room that he previously used for his son Amon, featuring a blue and white color scheme with wooden floors and white walls. There's a white cot and a matching armchair and side table. It seems the Roman baths inspired Tyler's choice of bathroom design, with a circular jacuzzi built into the floor, framed with four marble plinths, and below a huge chandelier. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Meghan Markle stole attention from Kate Middleton and Prince William's recent celebration. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex has always had a soft spot for helping people whenever she can. From writing inspirational notes on bananas to supporting women's rights, it is safe to say that the Duchess of Sussex cares about going above and beyond for anyone who needs it. She may no longer be a senior working royal, but it appears that it hasn't stopped Meghan from having a giving nature. She and Prince Harry recently moved to Los Angeles. Although we haven't seen a lot of them due to the current lockdown, Meghan has been doing what she can to reach out to her millions of fans. She and Harry are still getting settled into their new environment along with baby Archie, but they have been seen doing some charitable work, such as delivering food to those in need. As we know, Meghan was pretty active during her time as a royal. She was involved in so many things and had quite a few patronages for causes that she believed in. Even though Megxit is finalized, Meghan's charity work is still going strong. However, royal fans now think that Meghan's charity video was released to steal the thunder from a momentous occasion for Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William. Meghan's work with Smart Works, 
SmartWorks was one of Meghan's first royal patronages, and it was a role that she was absolutely perfect for. As a hardworking and caring woman, there is no doubt that Meghan was excited to work with the organization, which helps women who are underprivileged find jobs. She supports the women in a way that no one else possibly can, and we can only imagine that her efforts are greatly appreciated and give the women the confidence that they need and deserve. She even designed a line of clothing for women to wear to interviews. Recently, Meghan made headlines after a video circulated of her giving a woman a pep talk right before a job interview. Are Meghan and Kate Middleton still fighting? Ever since Meghan joined the royal family, rumors of a supposed feud between her and Kate have been swirling. Some news outlets have even gone so far as to say that the sisters-in-law couldn't be in the same room together, and were snubbing each other whenever they would meet face to face. Although rumors of a rift were put to rest at one point, many fans are now thinking that there is, in fact, something going on between the two. Why is this? Well, while there was no good time for Mexit to be announced, it was done so right before Kate's birthday. While all the attention should have been on the Duchess of Cambridge, everyone instead was talking about how Meghan and Prince Harry were planning to step down from their royal duties. Royal fans think Meghan's charity video was released to steal the thunder from the Cambridge anniversary. It is hard to believe that nine years have passed since Prince William and Kate officially became husband and wife, yet that is how long it has been. Chances are, the other family members were reaching out to them to offer congratulations, but fans think that Meghan may have had something up her sleeve. As it turns out, Meghan did a smart works video, she coached a woman just before a job interview. The video was shared to social media, and it coincides with the Cambridge's wedding anniversary, and many fans are in an uproar. One Twitter user wrote, This video was done way back in March. Marco held on to it to run it on Kate and Will's anniversary. This is what she does to them she always tries to steal their limelight. Another Twitter user wrote, She's back everyone. Here to remind us all she's a compassionate, sharing and selfless soul. Isn't today Kate and William's wedding anniversary? Her random appearances in the media always seems to be deliberate time, wise. Even though nine years is not a milestone anniversary, Many are taking to social media to say that Meghan is just looking for attention since the video was recorded weeks earlier, and she waited until Prince William and Kate's big day to share it. Although some people think this, most likely, the timing was nothing more than a huge coincidence and was not meant to offend anyone. Some Twitter users are evening defending Meghan on Twitter, noting that Kate released pictures of her children on Meghan and Prince Harry's anniversary last year. A Twitter user wrote, Well, last year it was Kate and her Boring Garden Picks charity project, the one accused by you all stands of upstaging the first anniversary of the royal wedding of the century. Another analysis? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Los Angeles house budget means they won't be financially independent for a while. When Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry decided to leave the British royal family for a more independent life away from the royal fold, they had major plans. The pair looked forward to launching their new Arkawell initiative and moving to Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles, where they have a vast support system. Unfortunately the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic thwarted their plans. Instead, the pair have been social distancing and quarantining at Tyler Perry's $18 million Beverly Hills mansion. However, now that restrictions are slowly lifting in Los Angeles, the Sussexes are considering their next move. It appears that the pair have their eye on several million-dollar properties in Los Angeles for their new home, but their massive budget might put a ringer in their plans for financial independence. Prince Charles has been providing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with financial assistance. In addition to what many people believe is Perry's kindness in allowing the Sussexes to stay in his Beverly Hills home free of charge, the duo is also getting assistance from a royal source. The pair are leaning on Prince Charles who has offered to assist the couple until they can get on their feet. A source explained. Charles has agreed to pay a private contribution to the Sussexes 
It is believed that the majority of this funding from the future crowned king will go to helping the Sussexes pay for their extensive security, which includes 15 armed guards who are on call 24-7. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Los Angeles house budget is in the millions. Meghan and Prince Harry might be hiding out at Perry's Los Angeles abode. The Sussexes are looking to spend $12 to $18 million for their home in Los Angeles. Apparently the Sussexes have several homes on their radar including a $15 million 7-bedroom bell, air mansion that includes a 200-bottle wine cellar, and an $18 million Hollywood Hills home with five bedrooms. There is also a $16.9 million home that has an 800-gallon aquarium. The pair also still have Frogmore Cottage in the UK where they hope to spend a good portion of their time, especially since it seems unlikely that Prince Harry will opt to become a US citizen. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will be financially independent for a while. Though the Sussexes have a combined net worth of $30 million, they are also paying back the citizens of the UK $3 million for Frogmore Cottage renovations. With all of these expenses, it seems unlikely they will be able to keep up their lifestyle, especially without money coming in. In fact, amid the coronavirus, COVID-19, Pandemic, the pair have been unable to launch their new Arcoel endeavor or take on any of the projects that they moved to Los Angeles for. When their projects do eventually launch it could take some time to see any real substantial revenue. Also with the big budget they have for their new home, they might be depending on the royals for several years to come. Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.